Welcome back, episode 2 of my Let's Play series. Hasn't been a long time since the episode 1. I'm in the, in the same hour at least. I've been getting some wood out here. You can see a lot of saplings are coming to me. Precisely because of that. And I'm going to use a little neat trick. I... well... I somehow figured out uh, a while ago. It's uh, not only a very quick way to clean an area of, uh, well, all this stuff, but uh, it's also it's pretty friendly with uh, hunger. Of course, I could make a sequel from Breath Power too, but. Uh, <laughs> I was just so, so used to do it this way, I forgot. <laughs> oh, marble! Marvelous, so to speak. And so close to home. Some appetite? Yay! Love marble. It's so nice to work with. Only complaint I, I have right now is that uh, we don't have equivalent exchange. Oh, look! Uranium. I have uh, some already, but it's always nice to, ha to find more. As I was telling you, equivalent exchange no longer allows you to create items for, for well, from emptiness. You can change them one into another, and you can use the shards of minium to, well, and the minion stone uh, to create the minion stone, and the minion stone acts like a philosopher's stone with uh, some limited amount of uses. And you can transmute things, uh, use them from something else. You can see I got myself some more, rub some more, uh, well, some rubber trees. And uh, also, it uh, well gives some extras, so to speak. Let me draw, throw the appetite in here, uh, well, and use this corn in here. Can't place the aluminum. Okay, perfect. Let's go downstairs and I can show you this, my small plantation. Yay! And we have enough to start play, planting flax. Great. I have some mixed items, yes. I have seeds, henneken, I don't I don't really understand the what's the use of the henneken, but uh, well and of course I need to craft myself a mistcraft table, place it somewhere, create a mining age because uh, this notebook is uh, well good for that kind of stuff. And yes, three wheat! Yay! More food! Food for the people! <laughs> so to speak. So I, was, I saw before some more bees and I'm going to grab them. It's not like I'm going to use them right now or even... I won't... I maybe even won't use them at all, but it's always nice to have some sort of surplus. And they were for around here, yes. What? Water bees? Yep, precisely. Water princess, water drone. I don't have the slightest idea on how to place them, use them, or whatever. But they are anyway interesting. They come from the extra bees uh, mod. Which is uh, well interesting if you like beekeeping a lot. I don't really like it. Uh, in fact, my uh, forestry configuration is an easy for the bees. So well, mostly I have to suffer them, so to speak, until I marvelled. I don't know why. What kind of princesses are the marvels ones? Anyway, as I was telling you, I kind of suffer these bees until, well, I find uh, some use for them. Namely, 
wood pro uh, flower production of some sort. Okay, and these are more marbles. Yay! I don't have the slightest idea of their use. I was thinking this is somehow barren. And yes, I forgot to install Dr. Sark's most creatures. I might add it later if it doesn't uh, has any if it doesn't have any kind of trouble with uh, any other mods. I mean, you need to install the graphical user interface API, which is uh, I'm not sure right now if it was a core of a jar or a jar mod. And well, I I need to add the mod itself. Good points uh, I would have uh, with Dr. Sarks. I'd have more monsters than I can care take care of. In, in the water I'd have sharks, dolphins, rays, piranhas, all that stuff. In the grounds I'd have scorpions, for example, and some other niceties a day. They are passive, like spiders, but uh, at night they turn into vicious creatures, and some of them are, are loaded. Yes, you kill a scorpion, and some mini scorpions spawn around it. And of course, there's the werewolves, which is, do spawn on normal difficulty during nighttime, or they spawn as regular people on day. Uh, frankly, <laughs> I uh, hope. It won't have any kind of ID trouble because it would be really awesome to have uh, most creatures with uh, Ars Magica. I mean, unicorns, nightmares, all kind of stuff, which has, uh, which is a little well mystical. And uh, me casting spells, well, not much. I'm not really a spell casting type of role player. I prefer uh, investigation and the like. But uh, it's always nice to turn your enemies into cinders with just a flick of your fingers. Yay! So replanting a little trees. I need to make myself a forestry farm as soon as I can. Should be easy, but uh, well, I need to take inventory of uh, what do I have around. And having a lot of wood is necessary. In case you're wondering why I'm not using coal, it's because I didn't found any kind of diamonds. No diamonds found means uh, no goodness around. However, Few people seems to remember, or at least I haven't seen it uh, much into YouTube videos, that Industrial Craft allows you a way around uh, these needs for diamonds when you actually actually don't find any. Yes, there is a way around the problem. So let's have a look at it uh, now that it's the night time. Oh, I moved the bed. I mean. If I have this in here, why shouldn't I use it? It's pretty enough. Maybe I should have placed this, this in here and the glass in there. Oh well. Whatever. And going down is a little delicate, but, well, funny. So let me see. This goes in here. Need to craft uh, another chest for bees. Not really a problem. And frankly, I am aching for some of uh, Elram's goodness, so I might try to force my way into crafting uh, some bronze and the like. I mean, it's not not. Uh, hard to, I just need to find the appropriate stuff around. And down here, the flag's still not uh, much mature, mature enough to be used. Let's drop the rest of the seeds in here and 
In fact, let's go drop the wheat too. Let's go upstairs. Yay, cabbage! Might harvest it later. So I have some more birch wood. I have some iron. Okay, time to start doing stuff. And frankly, I'm surprised. Well, uh, cooking makes me gives me experience. Oh well, coal dust. What? Oh no, not uranium ore. No. Oh dear. So NAI is frankly amazing, but uh, each time I hit a U key, asking what can I do with this item, it, the game just lacks a little. Graphite, yay! And more graphite. And even more graphite. Some solar panels, some batteries. There it is. Coal ball. And with the coal ball, what do we? What can we do? Well, we can compress them into coal chunks. Yay! Compressed coal ball. Okay. What can we do with this? Essentially, we can do this with uh, obsidian. Oh, there was a time we would be able to use, instead of obsidian, some bricks. But, oh well. And with the coal chunk, we need to compress it again, or we can craft the ultimate hybrid solar panel. It requires enriched enrich tsunami alloy, so it's a little expensive, plus an advanced solar panel. But by placing a cool chunk into a compressor, an industrial craft to item, we get a diamond. Yay! And remember, the coal dust is crafted by placing... Huh, interesting. This is uh, like cooking it, so... Yeah. With tiny piles, okay, this comes from Grectech, or from macerating coal. So that's the point. How can I get some coal ore? It's... I suppose it's somehow possible, I don't know. Well, from industrial centrifuge and the like. Anyway, <clears throat> the more... Uh, after playing a long time, I, I got to the conclusion you need one stack of coal to get one diamond, plus one obsidian, of course. Anyway, uh, you can see I have some nickelite in here and some redstone. So, what's this good for? First, I'm going to take some iron. And you can see here, we can see, well, some craft stuff. And I'm going to take some cobblestone. So, let's go here, place the cobblestone around here, like so. And we get a furnace, place the furnace like this, and this and this, and we can get an iron furnace. If you don't want to, you can do this, but it's uh, pretty wasteful, I'd say. Anyway, let me, gra let me grab some more iron. Yay! And, uh, in fact, I'm going to place the iron furnace instead of my regular one. Because, not, I won't say why not, but uh, it's essentially because with a single piece of charcoal we can cook 10 iron ore into iron bars. While uh, using the furnace we use one piece of charcoal to cook 8 bars. Or 8 items, considering most of them have, have the same cooking time, so it's a little like, hey, give me some... Extra time. Anyway, uh, what I intend to do here is essentially try to reach the solar panel area. I need to craft a generator, which is crafted with some refined iron, a rechargeable battery and an iron furnace. And the rechargeable battery uh, can't be crafted like so because it's charged in this, uh, shown in, as shown in this. But we can see the refined iron is crafted uh, essentially by cooking iron ingots. As for the battery, if I don't remember wrong, I'm going to need some tin, and uh, worst of all, I'm going to need some rubber. Oh dear. That means I'm going to need uh, to wait 
for these fellas to grow, which they did, at least one of them. So here's the deal with industrial craft. You can either tear down these trees and hope you will get some rubber some this little sort of well sticky resin. It's I always, it always looks like some sort of uh, joke vomit to me. Or hey, a sapling, yay. Let me place this one in here and remove this. And this, need to craft myself a new shovel. Or we can go for this spot in here. What can we do with that? Well, I'm going to need some wood for that. Let me... Oh, I was carrying some cobblestone and the like. Ah, well, let me get some of this first. Okay, and now we need to use to craft this. Five pieces of wood in this shape gave us a tree tap. A tree tap has more uses than the one I'm going to show you right now. In fact, we need four of them, and they do not stack, to craft an, I an industrial craft to item that lets us. Uh, oh dear! I wasn't expecting that. Oh well. Let's. We got here some sticky resin and fascinating. I don't know where the where the hell did that uh, creeper shown up, but I'm going to plant some some more of these around, just yes, for good measure. Okay, that should be enough for now, at least. So this took a little damage. Don't worry, uh, it's well, we can dispose of it. It's not all that necessary. And uh, there's a version that uh, works on energy, like uh, the diamond drill and the mining drill. In fact, the mining drill is one of the things I like to do first. But uh, I do need some more iron. Yay! See? 28 in. Got uh, 10 cooked. There we go. Turn them into cooked, even more better cooked items. Let me see, there's some tin in here. Right. Let's dispose of this. I don't. Oh no, I'm, I'm going to need a tin. And. Uh, yeah, like this. Like that. I'm going to need. It's eight refined iron, I believe. I'm not sure. No, I'm, uh, for a generator, I need three refined iron. So essentially it's like that, but uh, I want to have a little surplus in case I need it. So let's do this. Yay! Cheating the iron furnace into working our way. Haha. <laughs> <coughs> Can't do anything without the uh, iron furnace in my possession, so I'm going to need to break it or craft another. I went for the second option because... Uh, it's going to be a little time until I can uh, have a very independent, uh, well, staff. Hope. Thank you very much. And I'm going to have a problem because I think I'm going to need another piece of sticky resin. And you can see we get uh, one rubber per sticky resin when cooking. But what if we were not to cook it? But to use the item we craft with four tree taps from industrial craft. Well, we get hey, great. We should uh, we would get three times as much. Also, you can see we have a, a rubber tree. So could we get some more rubber from it? Yes, we could. In fact, we could uh, we can harvest this wood and use it to get more rubber. However, unless we have the, the extractor, which is the name of the Industrial Craft 2 machine we use for that, we, would, uh, we won't be able to get any rubber from <coughs> the rubber tree wood. Why is that? Well, that's because uh, if we place that, uh, rubber, that wood into one of these, into a furnace, we would get uh, essentially regular wood. 
so that's not what we want. Going to need some copper. Yes, this is somehow a little chain up. So let's grab some the items and get back to you. Okay, we should have enough now. Let's see. If I grab myself some copper and place it like this, we get an insulated copper wire. Do this and we get copper cables, which is one of the most used and basic and needed uh, items from industrial craft. We not only can place this in the world, like this, uh, we can also and will be using it to craft machines. But first we need to craft ourselves some batteries. Rechargeable batteries can be recharged a number of times if you have a power source and are crafted like this. Yay! This is an uncharged rechargeable battery. So now with an iron furnace, three pieces of refined iron, or refined iron and one of these we get a generator. Dun, 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 dun. So what's the generator useful for? Well, in essence, let's use store power. <clears throat> so let me grab uh, this baby here. Let's get uh, more charcoal maybe. Let me see. Where are the machines? In here they are. We could, of course, uh, create one of these, a water mill or a windmill. They are pretty easy to craft, they are cheap and they require some sort of uh, world positioning. For example, the windmill, the highest you place it, the more power it will produce. And the water mill requires uh, buckets of water to produce a suitable amount of energy. If not, you are going to craft a lot of them to get very few energy. But the solar panel, oh, that's for me the best uh, way to produce energy units from industrial craft. Of course, you require coal dust and electronic circuits, which means more redstone, more copper and more steel. Anyway, for now we're going to get go with the generator. So I'm go not I don't have enough uh, stuff to craft a uh, one of these, but uh, I can craft. Uh, oh, these are from advanced machines, incidentally. Uh, can I craft electric furnace? Yes and no. So first I should craft a macerator. Oh dear, requires three diamonds. This is Greg Tech's modified uh, recipe. Were not for this, uh, it would only require three flint, a machine block, and few things more. And our other option is to go for four for four an extractor, which you can see here: machine block, electronic circuit. That means we're going to, well, burn more copper ore. So let's place the iron furnace. Again, let's place, for example, 10 copper. And, oh, this is the generator, sorry. Be careful when you break the industrial craft items because sometimes you won't get uh, the item back, but something else. Uh, usually, machine block. It's because you broke something inside and you were only able to salvage. Well, the smallest uh, part of it. Let me start crafting a small chest in here, place it in here, and place there all these items. I'm not really using right now, but I will be using in a moment. Let's check outside. There's nothing ready to kill us, which doesn't seem likely, for now at least. And there's no more we will have to wait for more of these to spawn, so to speak. Okay, I got some more sticky resin. And so I'm going to craft right now. One, two, three, four, five. 
In fact, it shouldn't be five, but four. Three taps. And uh, I don't really have enough refined iron right now, but I can craft uh, this baby here, the electronic circuit. And now we can get some iron in here. Perfect! Nine. Can't live with that. Also, iron furnaces are uh, faster than the regular ones. And uh, since I like to make things this way, let me do this and start a little into the Buildcraft line of work. This is an auto crafting table. Uh, essentially, it will allow you to place the items and it won't uh, drop them out once you finish with them. Good part. Well, that one. You can only craft uh, one item at a time, so, however, you can use that to make uh, auto crafting channels or, well, sort of um, circuits. Uh, without logistic pipes, however, it's uh, just custom made ones. So, if you want to see how you would uh, craft one of those, I suggest you to have a look at my Season 3. Uh, let's play, especially the last episodes about Castle Black and the like, and you'll find there's a uh, well, quite a lot of uh, room taken by these auto crafting tables with some uh, auto crafting pipes placed on, uh, in front of them. So let's craft a machine block, which is kind of oh, we can also have this, which is a cylinder. That's for train craft, I believe. Anyway, extractor. Yay! How do we use this? First, we need a generator. And since I am going to do it this way, so to speak, well, let me pass the night. So I don't really like to do this, but for now, let's do it like so. I won't uh, be using this house, some sort of tech home. So I will have to craft one. I might uh, go ahead and dig a cave in the in the mountain, but for now I will be using this base as my core, so to speak. So this is the good news. We get now three rubber per use of the structure. Also, another good news is that the generator won't waste any power we don't use. So right now I have two tin ingots and a few things more. Th few things more. So I need to keep going out and getting some goodies. Also, uh, green sapphire. Uh, sapphires can only be used for two things, maybe three. Uh, well, first they can be crafted into blocks like uh, diamonds. And they can be uh, used to create a sonic screwdriver, which is uh, the tool for moving around with Red Power 2. And they can be used as, di as diamonds. They are not as uh, resilient. Also, they are related to Greg Tech. Because the green sapphire dust, as you can see, is related to aluminium. And can be used, I believe, if I won't crash the game, okay, in the industrial electrolyzer to get some sapphire dust, or with the implosion compressor to get some green sapphire and dark ashes. Yeah, I don't know what dark ashes are used for. Anyway, uh, for now, I believe that's enough. So let's call it a day, say this is episode 2. And uh, let's have a look at our farm. Yay! I believe uh, the growing time for wax has been improved somehow. And we have this and this. Perfect. So we now have Henneken leaf, which, ca which can be crafted into... <laughs> I fear every time I use an AI with a U because I fear it will crash on me. To twines. And twines can be used for I don't know what. Anyway, we got ourselves some flax, and that means five string. Yay! And more flax to use. 
So this is all my flux. And flux is uh, tile 2, so no torches on top of it. Besides that, it's all free game. And also we have enough wheat to craft ourselves some something to eat. Right. Anyway, thanks for watching this episode too. I hope you had fun, you discovered something new. And I hope to see you in episode 3. Yes, the beginning is slow, but steady. And we will only go up. See you later, people, and Merry Christmas to all of you, and Happy New Year.